tonight, the law enforcement body camera debate. Almost two weeks after video surfaced of a violent Bills game arrest, Erie County Sheriff Tim Howard is now speaking about the technology and whether he believes the cameras are worth the $1 million price tag. Here's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Sean Robson. Memories sometimes fail. Um, video probably has a longer shelf life. And this video of a bloody altercation between a Bills fan and a deputy has put the spotlight on the Erie County Sheriff's Office. Uh, I'm just wondering where you guys are going, so I'm going to meet my friend there and just like... Who's your friend? The kid in the back. Okay, well, you want to go to jail with him? No, I'm just beat it. No, I He's going to jail. Beat okay, it. Okay, can I go? Can you tell me the location? Ten Delaware. Beat it. No, what do you mean? Like, tell me the location. Ten Delaware. The altercation was captured by a deputy's body camera during a pilot program that has since ended. It shows a deputy taking down a fan outside New Era Field after that fan used an expletive. But Erie County DA John Flynn later dropped all charges after viewing the video. At this morning's public safety meeting, legislators questioned Sheriff Tim Howard about when and if the cameras will be back. Body cam is raw footage, and whatever's captured on the body cam is what happens. That's that's my opinion. Howard says he's on board with the program, but doesn't think the tailgate video shows the whole story. The video and the opinions that are being drawn from that um, would have a negative effect in, in suggesting that this does, does not help us. Um, it did not get the truth out to the public. The portion of that video, or at least that single video that's being shown, um, it does not depict what I believe happened that day. Roll over. But Democratic Majority Leader April Baskin says the video offers clear evidence. It is imperative that that be the driving force and the catalyst for the county to consider if that's something that we need deputies to wear at all times. The fan suffered a concussion and a broken nose and is now pursuing legal action against the county. Howard says his office places the highest priority on public trust. The faith and the trust of the public is an extremely important factor in the success of law enforcement. We have a low level of Sheriff Howard says the body camera program is still under evaluation and isn't in the budget at the moment. And again, if it's implemented, it's going to cost up to $1 million moving forward per month. Live in the newsroom, Sean Robson, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, thanks, Sean. Please